This book is making over $2,700 per month on Amazon. And the best part about it, it was self-published by someone like me or you on Amazon KDP. And you can make these sorts of books very easily for free with the method that I'm going to show you in this video. Hang around until the end of the video for an epic freebie. We all like a freebie, don't we? So let's just check this book sales. So I am on Amazon.com and I've typed in the keyword Sudoku. And if I go down here, you can see that the bestseller is the one that we are looking at. So on the books page, you can see that it's got over 4,000 ratings. But if we go down, we can see that it's got a best selling rank of 888. If we go over to TCK Publishing and put in 888 for our bestsellers rank, we can see that it's making 2,390 sales per month. And if we go over to the printing costs and royalty calculator, we can see that for an 8.5 by 11 inch book with 116 pages and a list price of $6.85, it's making estimated royalty per sale of $1.14 which means that this book is making $2,724 per month. Now that's pretty good, isn't it? So just having a look at the book's Amazon page, we can see it's got 116 pages and it's an eight by five by 11 inch book. But the key thing here is it's got a thousand Sudoku puzzles here. So for this video tutorial, we're going to be looking to replicate something similar to this. And the first thing that we're going to make for your Sudoku book is the interior. So if we pop over to puzzlegenerators.com, we can go to the Sudoku generator. And if you notice, this is free for commercial use. Now, depending on what type of Sudoku book that you're gonna make, depends on what variables you are gonna select here. So for this example, I'm just going to do a nine by nine Sudoku and I'm going to make it easy. So what we are going to need to do is generate over a thousand Sudokus to compete with this book that we're looking to replicate. And using this tool, we're going to do that. Now, realistically, this is gonna take about an hour or so. Let me show you the process probably play a lo-fi playlist while you're doing this to remain focused. So now that we've selected what sort of Sudoku we want and how easy it's going to be, all we'll simply do is press generate. Then we're going to download the image and then we're going to download the solution, right? So we have now downloaded the image and the solution. So what we need to do is we need to do number two. So generate, download image, download solution, regenerate. Download image, download solution. Regenerate. Download image, download solution. You get the point. Next, we'll head over to Canva and we are going to create a design. We will go down to custom size and we want our units to be inches and we want it to be 8.5 by 11. Create new design. Okay, so now I am on my 8.5 by 11 inch design. Now, the first page of your book is going to want to be a title page, so I'll leave that as is. Now, you're going to need 12 Sudokus per page to make 1,020 Sudokus over 85 pages, which will then leave 25 pages at the end to add 42 solutions to each one of those pages. This will give you a whole book of 111 pages. Now, if I just pull this down, you can see that I have populated this particular page with 12 Sudokus. So to change each one of these Sudokus, all you would simply do is open your downloads and you have generated 1020 Sudokus. What you do is you just upload each one of these by simply just grabbing one and pulling it into the screen like this. And what we want to do is we want to um, delete the old one, like so. Bring this down into the correct position. And this will snap to the correct space. There we go. And we'll just make that the same size and it should just fall into place like so. So there's one changed, and you would do the same for each one. Now this template is massive. It's got obviously 85 pages for your Sudokus, and at the end, it's got the solutions. So this is the last page of the puzzle templates, and then we go into our solutions. In exactly the same way that we did in the last one, you would put in your solutions and just drop them in. So we just get rid of that. Pull that into, into place, make sure that it is square and make sure it is the right size. Once complete, you would go up to share, 
download and you would set the file type to PDF print. Then simply press the download button. Now, before we move on, if you're liking this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Cheers. So we now have our interior for our Sudoku book. And now we need to make the cover, don't we? So the first thing we need to do is go over to the cover calculator and generate a template for our cover. It's going to be a paperback, it's going to be black and white, it's going to be white paper, it's going to be from left to right, it's going to be inches, it's going to be 8.5 by 11, and it's going to be 111. And we will just calculate dimensions and then download the template. So when you are creating the custom page on Canva, you need to make sure that you use the overall dimensions from the cover calculator. Here are the overall dimensions here. So this rectangle is 17.5 inches by 11.25. And I've simply just put the template on top and snapped it to the corners. Now, when we're designing, we need to stay away from these red zones because that's where it's either creased or it's cut. Now, if we go back to amazon.com where I typed Sudoku, you can see that there's a bit of a theme on covers here. You can kind of see that there's sort of uh, very similar colors and very similar fonts. So here are some covers that I made based on popular covers. Now, as you can see, if you just click on the backgrounds and go to transparency, you can turn the transparency down. And you can see the template behind it. Here's another one. And here's the last one. Now, all these can be manipulated to how you want. You can change the titles, you can put different things in different places, however you like. So once you're happy with the cover, you'd simply go to share, download, make sure that we're on PDF print, and then simply select the cover that you like. Done, and then download. And there's that particular cover downloaded there. Now, we have our book interior and we have our book cover. The last thing to get is some great keywords. So I am back on Amazon.com and I am going to use Titans Pro to generate some fantastic keyword ideas. I'm going to filter this by search volume. So we've got all the highest searches at the top. Now, the cool thing about Titans Pro is it does this kind of colour coding scheme. So bright green is the best and kind of light green is OK. So I can see straight away that easy Sudoku for kids is a fantastic keyword because there's only 938 competitors, but the estimated search volume per month is 4,250. So that looks like a pretty good opportunity for you. Now, all these keywords can be used in your title, your subtitle or your seven backend keyword slots. And this is so that your book can be found on Amazon. You want to make sure that these keywords have got a high amount of searches, but low competition. So this keyword data is very valuable. Now, if you want to learn about becoming a ninja at creating puzzle books, why don't you check out my course, How to Publish Profitable Puzzle Books on Amazon KDP. If you've got all the way to the end of this video, that's fantastic. You will be rewarded. I'm going to give you the interior template, which I've just done on this video, along with the three covers, which I've just done, and around 200 Sudoku related keywords, which I found on Titans Pro. I'm going to wrap those up in a digital product that you can download completely for free on my Gunroad store right now. But before you use this interior or you use the covers, you must change them. We don't want a thousand people on Amazon with the same book cover. If you don't change it, you may get a slap on the wrist from KDP and we wouldn't want that, would we? Any creative assets that you are using, including pictures and fonts, you need the license key for. The best place to get fonts and creative assets is on Creative Fabrica, and there's a freebie section to get those as well. Everything that I've mentioned in this video, the links to them will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye!